Across the nation, law enforcement officers are observing National Police Week. KFTM reporter Justin Hinton explains, in Beaumont, it's an opportunity to celebrate the lives and honor the sacrifices of officers killed in the line of duty. It's a melody that's often played at a police officer's funeral. 17 times since 1881, Beaumont officers have been killed in the line of duty. I lost a big part of me when I, he left. September 9, 2002, three days after the family of Beaumont officer Conrad Granali learned their brother and son was killed when a man ran over him while Granali was responding to a domestic disturbance. Then, tears of sorrow. Now, a 21-gun salute and a flower helped Cesar Gernali remember his twin brother. We're just honored to be invited to come and celebrate with them and honor the other families that have lost loved ones also. He says years later, it's still tough on his brother's wife and children. Their faith has seen them through the pain. As long as you have God in your heart and you believe in him and his messages, you'll get through in almost anything. Faith and family, a common theme that unites the wives, children, relatives of fallen officers, no matter how close or far they may be from one another. If nothing else, they've gained a, a family. I mean, they're, they're a big dysfunctional family in law enforcement, but we, we want them to be a part of us as long as they want to be. A police chief embracing families of the fallen, officers who still serve as a guiding force, symbolically standing watch over their departments. In Beaumont, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. The last Beaumont officer killed in the line of duty was Officer Brian Hebert. He died July 8, 2011, when a man deliberately crashed into him during a chase. The man who killed Officer Hebert was sentenced to life without parole.